Yeah, but it kind of looks like a 1960s. Are you having a good day? Yeah, you're being so patient. This one is like a early 20th century. Yeah, this one is called female rose. Oh, okay. It's, a, it's like a painted enamel, this type. I would say if it's a perfect condition, my words are about. So this one, not of it's contemporary, but somebody might pay. Like You're just so full of information. It's amazing. Awesome. That's why I get paid to do what I do. <laughs> <laughs>
So they were able, supposed to call the tow company and have them impounded, and then the tow company has their process they do to sort it out all liability. Yeah, so keep in mind that this particular storage facility, this is their policy across the board, no exception. They don't handle liens, they don't handle mm -hmm. title transfers. Cars and apparently boats, all the same. We've never seen them let go of any cars. Other facilities might do it in, in, in other states, they may have a different Common. policy. Yeah. But keep in mind, again, this is California, mm -hmm. all right? This is a crazy state. They've got probably the most laws and definitely the most crazy laws anywhere in the US, well maybe New York, but they, uh, they are really, we have laws set up to protect wrongdoers. It's terrible. And this is something that we deal with living here. Um, it's something the companies have to deal with being established here, but they, they do not want to deal with any of the legal messiness. And that's really what it comes down to. They yeah. just want to get rid of them and have the tow company take on the liability, wash their hands. And we respect that. So in the next episode, we're going to have more updates on the boats because you know what? Jack and I went to the tow yard, took a little trip down to see our boats. Yep. Yep. Very exciting for sure. And you are not going to want to miss this. It was awesome. But in the meantime, join us as we go to the appraisers and see what they say about the statue and vase. Here we go. <music> We're live, honey. What are we doing right now? Right now, we are going to the auction house to get those couple of uh, artifacts mm -hmm. appraised. From which locker? The boat locker. <gasps> the boat locker. Today is like a lot of follow up on the boat locker. Yeah, because especially because the boat locker just hit 200,000 views. People are still watching it, people are still commenting. Still have questions. Two months later. Right now, we're gonna get to the bottom of how much the vase and the, what is it, the statue? It's like a statue, yeah. Bone statue's worth. Yes. We're gonna find out soon. There's a lot of people parking. There must be a ferry. Yeah. Oh yeah, right there, yeah, ferry parking. So this is kind of a cool shot. What's that right in front of us, honey? San Francisco. More importantly, what bridge? Bay Bridge. Bay Bridge, people. To the right, there's some cargo. Ships with the containers bringing in the product, probably from China. It's a hard turn right here. This guy in front of us just went right past us and zoomed right in. Look at him. We're at the Naval Station now, United States Naval Station. Alameda. What's this skate park over there? I guess it's okay for us to be oh, here. Oh, here it is. Look, look at this. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this appraisal. Look at the ship, I mean, the plane right there. So we're coming in right now. It's kind of a cool scenery with all the ships and seeing the city. And um, we've never done an appraisal before. Just one time at the street fair, we brought some stuff, right? Yeah. But, and then here's Michonne's auctions. That's where we're going. Auctioneers and appraisers. And appraisers. So every Wednesday they do this from 10 to one. There they are. Look at that, cool. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Good. We just sign in. Yeah. We have two items, so we just sign them in on one person. Is that yeah, okay? that's perfectly fine. Okay. So we have stamps and coins, furniture, decorations. There's not um, items. So cool. Mm. Super neat, right? Yeah, but they run off a bunch of them. They're not like one off. So we got the beef in here. No, we got the statue in here. The base for the base is there. Got the base in there. Waiting for this table over here. Asian art. What's that one say over there? Furniture? Furniture and decorations. And decorations. There's two tables. Stamps and coins. Fine art. Oops. Down there we got fine art. And there's another furniture and decorations. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, there it is. Yeah, but it kind of looks like a 1960s. Uh, doing great. It's the first time here. So. 
said. This actually goes with that. There's a base there. That's here, I believe. Oh, that's a bone. Yeah. Great car. Yeah, this is fragile. Very. Yeah. And, you know, all the little parts and stuff are not broken. It's not ivory, right? I don't. I we have don't know. I, I think it's a bone. But let me look at your vase first. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Vase fragile. Here you go, honey. This one also is, this is the way we came across these pack like this, so it's not back in Pretty snug in here. Oh, that was a bobble. Yeah. That's a crack. Mm hmm. It's a pretty piece. Yeah, most of my, since I played in rock bands in the city, are Okay. Yeah, you're being so patient. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything fun for you to do up here. Usually, this comes in pair. Oh, really? Huh. This one is like a early 20th century. Okay. So not really 19th century. Okay. Uh, some condition issue. If I ever give, it's super heavy, <laughs> but there is no no mark on the back face. Uh -huh. uh, it came on that little. Right? You only have one. You don't have a pair. Yeah, so only one. one. Yeah, this one is called female rose. <laughs> oh, okay. It's a it's a, like a painted enamel. It's tight. I would say if it's a perfect condition. My worth is about yeah, four to six hundred dollars, but right now with this condition issue, we're worth a little bit less. Okay. <laughs> and you're referring to the crack? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And some of the writings, like, can, is it The more? writing, yeah, it's a, that's yeah, a lot. Yeah, I noticed that. Uh, the writing, some are missing here. Yeah, it looks worn a little. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's more like a, a, a birthday celebration. You wish somebody's blessing and happiness is huh. as great as the East Ocean. So, Ru Nansan is, is very typical for the birthday thing. And may the longevity is uh, compared to the that's East, right? East Ocean, uh -huh. South Mountain. East Ocean and Mountain. And they mentioned, I, I cannot read here very well. You mentioned the, like a pine, like a pine tree. Usually it's a very, very long age. It's a, it's a birthday celebration thing. And here, Huang Wei Guang. Oh, and, and here marks the, the kiln, the workshop location, the name. Yeah, that's just about it. Okay. And uh, and uh, it looks very fancy, but the carving is kind of uh, like a cartoony. It's not like uh, the fine, fine, fine. Uh -huh. It's like uh, the worker make this, draw this. It's okay. not like uh, the fine artist. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't yeah. really have the artist signature because this was done commercial. Mm to export this type of thing. Okay. Okay. Or just to put it in the market to sell. Uh -huh. uh, compared to the emperor order mm -hmm. to make the finest. It's not the finest. Okay. And it's still worth a few hundred dollars. Okay. Great. Oh, even in that condition? Uh, yeah. You think? Yeah. yeah. But Great. Uh, or if you want to consign to us, we need two thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Oh, okay. value yeah. to open a country. Okay, let me take a look. It's not that one, huh? <laughs> yeah. I just wish it's not. So, it's a coin right? Uh, I can take a look. Mm -hmm. We can take it out. Uh, okay, we can we take it out. We put it in before. before. If, it's, uh, if, if it's ivory, I cannot accept. Yeah. I was... Well, I had other people look at it. They said they thought it was bone. Yeah, it's Also, it's but bone. we don't know for sure, but... It's just one person looked at it, kind of. Okay. Just like it's a got a little bit of... Popcorn on it still. Yeah, okay. We can put that on the base. So this one, right. metal base is contemporary. Not signed or numbered. But somebody might pay. Might 
like uh, around $500 for it. Okay. okay. Four to six hundred dollars Do you have any other items? Mm -mm. That was the best we got. <laughs> okay. It's pretty nice. Nice, huh? Yeah. But more contemporary? It, it is contemporary. Mm. May after 1970. Oh, really? Is that new? Oh, so that's really new. Okay. okay. We and have no idea. And the bone is uh, like a sessions uh -huh. together. Little tiles. Uh, in, um, the, is this Japanese? No, it's Chinese. It is? Okay. That's a Chinese goddess of mercy. Oh, yeah. Gosh, you're just so full of information. It's, awesome. it's amazing. Awesome. That's why I get paid to do what I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, um, Thank you so much. I can open a card. Let me see. Mm -hmm. I will say. I can. Do you have any other things at home you can bring? Oh, we do. We have oh, a few really? things. Oh. Yeah. All right, guys, that was our first time to that appraisal house slash auction house and we really enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed it too and if you did hit us a thumbs up please show us that you like the video and you like seeing this sort of thing we're gonna have more for you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the notification button so we got some great stuff coming up we do we have awesome stuff and the really cool thing is the appraiser really loved the two items we brought but they have to have a two thousand dollar lot so guess what next week we're going back with some more items you might recognize so stay tuned for that and all right so we went straight from the appraiser right onto the tow yard and that was a really exciting event as well. You guys are going to see that in the next video. Okay, but until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on, on Locker, Locker Nuts. Nuts. All right, you guys, if you're interested in finding out more about that auction house that we visited, it is called Michonne's Auction. That's the spelling. And it is michonne's.com. I'm going to put a link in the video description. But, yeah, they're located in the San Francisco Bay Area in the city of Alameda. And we're going to go back there this week to get more items appraised and hopefully get into their auctions. Good stuff to come.